Welcome back to the second part of installing a high steer kit on a Dana 44 front axle. We have evapor rusted this and previous to that we removed the ball joints. Alright, we are going to start de-rusting these knuckles. In this episode, we are going to be machining this top surface flat so that it is similar to this one here where it's got the three studs with the flat surface on it. This spot right here where the ball joint goes, that is my locating height. I've got the same thing right here, this ring right here. That's what I'm gonna aim for for my height. So I really don't have to worry about doing any measuring or anything like that. Um, I can be a couple thou, maybe about ten thou higher than this lip and I'll be good. Um, it doesn't, there's really no precision needed for it. The surface. All right, now that we've finished stoning, I'm gonna go ahead. I switched over to a four flute high speed steel end mill and just ran one pass. I actually ended up sharpening it, sharpening it just a little bit. It had a little bit of uh, gulling on the ends of it. And um, it looks like it's cutting good. So um, let's just try it.
Oh yeah, you right. That was loud. A little bit of chatter. What do you think? Crappy setup. Not horrible. It's smooth. That's all I care about. Hey tubes. So I've gone through and off camera set this upper steering arm in a location that is very similar to the factory location. I'm going to take one of these wedge washers, place it into the hole. Now we're not using this hole. This would be for if I had an aftermarket um, steering knuckle that gives you a little bit extra support right there. So, um, so I'm going to put the wedge in and then what I've done is I've taken my, my centering punch, put just a little bit of tape around it so that it is a snug fit. That way it'll give me a nice centering and then one good tap. I'll do the other one down here. Same way. And then now we gotta do my third one. My third one, I do not want to move this. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drill these two out, come back and do that third one afterwards because it did move a little bit on me. Alrighty, we got a 3364 drill bit in the drill chuck. I've got the tap and the collet, <coughs> excuse me, just finger tight. And then I'm just going to uh, let it start threading in a little bit. Tap it in. Appears to be in there. Take that out. And then I'm going to drop the knee a little bit. Tap wrench on here. All right, let me get set up for uh, the tap next. Alrighty. So off camera, I threaded in the two um, retaining studs, put in the, the sleeve, and I was able to locate my last position. So I'm going to go ahead and just get things lined up. Last 
last one. Damn break. I always forget about that crazy thing. happy with that I am going to just uh, counterbore these a little bit or chamfer I should say not counterbore let me get uh, something to do that real quick get some studs in there and then we'll test it all right, folks, I've just got these uh, threaded in there. This one's threaded all the way down. These two still need to be threaded down more, but um, I'm running out of time for tonight, so I just wanted to show you that this does fit. So, put my washers on. And there it is. So, you know, obviously I would Tap that one in, tap that one in, and then drive them down. But that's that. So that's all done. So that's uh, that's a good feat done, a good feeling. Now, next thing that we're going to do is we are going to be going through, and uh, the next part, we're going to be installing the ball joints. And then uh, the part after that, we will be installing these on the axle. So, if you like this type of stuff, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks, everybody.